Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dan Giesing from HowToGetOnRealityTV.net and today I'm going to show you how to apply for Big Brother with their new online website. So for the first time ever, you are able to apply for Big Brother online, which is kind of cool that they've cut down the actual mailing process, but let's take a look at this site. On the very top, you're going to notice the navigation bar. Right now, we're on the home page. We're going to take a look at the tips on how to apply. They break it down very simply. There's also the video page where they give you a list of very, very general tips when shooting your audition tape. It, it really directs you more so as to different things you need to do with lighting and making sure you're speaking clearly as opposed to how to create the most compelling audition video. Then there's the actual application. of. There's going to be some aggregated information about the open calls and where they're held frequently asked questions, terms, and contact information. So on this first page, the most important thing is this right here. This is the submission deadline. No matter what reality television show you're applying for, if you miss the deadline, there's absolutely nothing you can do. So you want to make sure you get your audition video in by this deadline. All right, now we're going to check out what you actually need to do to apply to get on Big Brother. And we're going to do that by going up here where it says how to apply and clicking right on it. They break it down very simply on what exactly you need to do to apply to get on Big Brother. The first thing you have to have is you have to have an audition video, which that is a project in itself. We are not going to go over how to do that and how, or how to create a compelling audition video in this introduction video, but we will at a later time. The second thing you need to have is a picture of yourself saved on your computer. The file size limit is 3 megabytes, which should be way more than enough. And the third thing you need to do, which we are going to cover in this video, is how to actually fill out the application in the best way possible. But before you do all that, you need to make sure you're eligible. Now we're going to take a look at the complete list of eligibility requirements and everything you must meet to be eligible to get cast on Big Brother. It's pretty simple. Just click on this link right here and it's going to bring up a three-page legal document outlining every single eligibility requirement you must meet if you want to get cast on Big Brother. Now, I recommend you take some time by yourself and read through this entire document. But for the sake of our time, we're just going to look at the three most basic requirements you must meet if you want to have a chance to get cast on Big Brother. The first is the age requirement. You must be at least 21 years of age at the, at the time you apply. Now, I know what you're going to say. There have been a small number of people who have been on Big Brother who have been under the age of 21, but they are the exception to the rule. If you apply to get on Big Brother and you are not at least 21, you're wasting your time. Now, it's good to get some experience in shooting an audition video and filling out the application, but you won't be considered. The second requirement is you must be a U.S. citizen and live in the United States. So, I know it's going to disappoint a lot of the Canadian fans out there, but it is what it is. You have to be a U.S. citizen. And finally, the last requirement you must not meet is you cannot be a candidate for public office. So what that means is you can't currently be running for an elected position. Now, it doesn't say you can't currently hold that position because what they're doing with this requirement is they just don't want you to exploit reality TV to help yourself get elected by gaining additional press and coverage and things of that nature. So just to recap, you have to be at least 21 years of age, you have to be a U.S. citizen, and you cannot be currently running for public office. And those are the three main requirements you must meet to be cast on Big Brother. Now that we've met the eligibility requirements, it is time to actually apply. So you want to go back to the home page and navigate to the apply button. You click that apply button and it brings up the actual online application. So right now we're going to fill this out, the very basic information together very quickly. So my first name is Johnny. I'll be filling this out on behalf of Johnny Lawrence. And my email address is johnny at cobrakai.com. And as you fill out this information, you want to make sure it's obviously to your most current information. So when they do contact you, that they have all the correct information and they're not, they don't have to search for you. This whole online process is to make it as easy as possible for the casting company to locate you and, and sort and organize your information. So now that you filled in all this basic information, let's put in his home phone and cell phone. 
Now, one part I found interesting is the actual occupation selection is you can't type this in. So for whatever reason, they have it set up kind of like monster.com where you just select one of the groups. So you obviously need to pick the one that's most like yours. Or if you don't find yours, then just put other. And it's not that big of a deal. So don't freak out if they don't have your occupation on there. Now, the next part you have to be extremely, extremely honest about. You need to be honest throughout this entire application. But when they ask you about your age, height, and weight. So when you do this, okay, it's very important to be honest because, for example, if I say Johnny is six foot seven, okay, they're going to be able to verify that. How? When you go to a face to face interview, if you're not six seven, they're going to know. So you don't want to lie to these casting producers because they're on your side. But if you lie to them right off the bat about your height and weight, they're going to start to question everything. So when you fill this out, make sure you're as honest as possible. It's not 400 pounds, he's 185. It's a male and blonde. So you, obviously you want this all to be as accurate as possible. And let's move on to this. Relationship status. Where you can begin to differentiate yourself is when they ask you how well you know the actual game. Are you a super fan or have you never seen it before? Based on what you select, it could determine follow-up questions they ask you in a semi-final type interview. So for example, if they know you, you're a super fan and you've seen every episode, they're going to ask you who's your favorite winner, who do you think's played the best that hasn't won, things like that. So they're definitely going to test your knowledge of Big Brother based on your response here. Now, the place you really, really, really make your mark is on this self-biography. And there's a requirement of up to 70 words. So I'm not sure if you guys know this, but the actual average sentence is between 10 and 12 words. So you're dealing with describing your life story in essentially one very small paragraph. Now, one thing that's notable is that when you type in this box, there is no cutoff point. Okay, so you can write for days and days and days and you can still submit it, but don't do that. You know, they're not going to read that. They have up to 70 words for a reason. If you're around 75, if you're plus or minus, give or take a few, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and move on. This is why I definitely recommend you write your story well ahead of time in a program like Microsoft Word. So all you do is you come down to your Word document or Apple document. You come to highlight your story. It's already spell checked and grammar checked, except they didn't pick up on the last name LaRusso. You come here, you copy it, you go back to the application page, paste it in, and now you know you're all set. It's ready to go. Just a few more quick steps and you will be all set to submit your application. The next thing you want to do is actually upload your photo. It's got to be 3 megs or less, and it's got to be a JPEG, GIF, bump, or TIFF file. For you tech nerds out there, you guys should be, that's plenty of room for you guys to upload a photo. The photo you want to select, make sure it's accurate. Don't use a photo from 10 years ago that doesn't look anything like you. Whatever photo you send, that's going to be the representation of yourself. So you want to be honest with that and, and be as, as straightforward as possible. So click here, and then we're going to upload our picture of Johnny. Next thing you want to do is approve the terms of service. You really don't have many options here, but if you want to read the terms of service, you can scroll all the way to the top and click terms up here. It's going to outline the details of essentially the deal by you applying for the show. If you don't agree to the terms of service, uh, you're not going to be considered. So make sure you do that, but also make sure you're comfortable with it. So read it above. And then finally, what you're going to do is you're going to upload your audition video with a maximum of three minutes. We're not going to get into the actual creation of this video because it's a whole nother ball game, but this has got to be under 30 meg and in one of the main file formats, MPEG, AVI, MP4, that, that MOV, all, all very common uh, file types. So that being said, I hope this video helped you guys out. The next video I'm going to release is going to go into actually how to create a compelling audition video and we'll take it from there. Thanks so much guys. Hope this helped. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope it helped you and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to be notified the next time a How To Get On Reality TV video comes out, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel in the upper left hand corner. Thanks so much for watching.
If you're looking for more tips and strategies on how to improve your casting game, be sure to check out the website at www.howtogetonrealitytv.net. On the site, you'll be able to download my book, How a Normal Guy Got Cast on Reality TV. If you're interested in hearing about my four-year story and everything I had to go through to get on reality TV, this is going to be the book you're going to want to read, and you can get it absolutely free. And for those of you who are really serious about getting cast on reality TV, you're going to want to check out the complete step-by-step -step guide. The guide will teach you all the insider tips, tricks, and strategies I actually use to get on reality TV. Both books are available for you right now for instant download on the website www.howtogetonrealitytv.net.